Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today we're going to put in a 100 watt panel and see how much energy this thing actually can put out. Let's take a look. This is an easy project. This is, you know, something that you guys can easily do. What I'm doing right here is I'm creating a pad to set the solar panel down on. And you can see it's almost 100 degrees out here. But hey, it's just a nice little project and I love to work with solar. So let's take a look. you know one of those great big sales they have and I saw this 100 watt panel and then I saw that it was damaged the box was damaged so I just went up to the manager and I said what kind of deal can you make and he said you know what we'll do that for $50 so we paid $50 plus tax <laughs> for this 100 watt panel so let's go ahead and get this out of the box and see what they got in here Oh yeah, looking good. Looking real good. Got the instructions in it. And on the back, there is a little damage. Can you see that little spot down there on the backing? But I think it'll be fine. Comes with its own stand, which is nice. So we can just set that on the pad that we just made. And here's the connect. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this over to that area that I just built a little pad. That's just a temporary thing. Makes it nice and secure to put the, you know, a solar panel on. And then we're gonna run some Romex all the way from there into here. It's probably about, uh, I'd say 80 feet. And I'm wondering how much power loss we'll have from the pad over here to the tiny house. So let's go check it I out. I just wanted you to see the temperature. What's that say, 98? <laughs> Humidity is you know, not bad, 40 to 50%. That's pretty good for Florida midday. So we have this panel out in full sun, got it hooked up to the meter and it says 21.1. Can you see that? 21.1. That's pretty good power coming off of a little 100 watt uh, panel. This is volts, 21 volts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see how much voltage loss there is after we run a, a Romex cable about 60 or 80 feet over to the cabin. So let's do that next. So we've got our panel set up full sun. And you know, I just put these pavers out here just to give it an area so that you can work on it, walk around it, whatever. <laughs> we made our test with the meter here at the panel. Let's go inside the cabin and see what goes on there. Okay, you ready? Can you see that? 20.2. So we lost 0.9 volts running this 60 plus feet. So there was some loss, but I think this is more than enough to keep our battery charged and our solar controller will, will take care of the rest. Let's go ahead and hook up the rest of the system. Okay, that's all well and good, but let's see what we can actually power with a 750 watt inverter and a 100 watt panel. How about an old box fan? Plugged in, let's turn it on. Oh yeah. Beautiful. 750 watt inverter. 100 watt panel. Okay, let's try out a couple more tools and see what goes on. 750 watt inverter. You see the cord? It's coming over to the saw. Let's just see. You see that voltage? Perfect. Perfect. 
every time. Okay, how about a vacuum cleaner? This is a vacuum I use, you know, to clean up when I'm working around. So a little dirty, but power is on. Let's go ahead and turn it on. That good suction. Again, as long as that sun's out, so as long as that sun's out, we're going to keep getting voltage, keep getting current, amperage into our battery to keep it charged, which runs our 750 watt inverter. But what about that ultimate test, the air conditioner? Let's do that next. Okay, what about things that we really need for that convenience? You know, like air conditioning. So let's try this out. We've got a 750 watt inverter and we've got it all hooked up to the solar control. Let's go ahead and turn on the inverter. I just heard the air conditioner kick on. Let's go start that air conditioner up. I feel cold air just to show you here's the extension cord it's coming around going over to 750 watt inverter you can see that power draw it's going down pretty quick well actually it's holding pretty steady about 12 volts you know things work and surprisingly enough it will run as long as we have that sunshine right now that panel is going to keep putting that out. You can see it. It just kind of stays right there. It's drawing a lot of amperage, but it's working great. Let's follow that back. Works great. Okay, time to clean up. It's Saturday night and it's music night. Everyone's invited. Send me an email. Come on down, bring your instrument, just bring your voice, or just come and visit. Sunday morning, I thought about you, all the things that we could do. So I called you up, but you're not home. So I drifted on out to the lake, just to find a smiling face. Ain't it good to know? Thank you. 